All right, back for another beer review. And today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Great Lakes Brewing Company. And they're out of Cleveland, Ohio. And this is their Elliott Ness. So they're calling this one an Amber Lager. It comes in at 6.1% alcohol by volume, 27 IBUs at the time of review. I don't know exactly how old this bottle is, but on the label it says, for freshest taste, please enjoy by 112521. And at the time of review, we're about just under a month from that date. So according to Great Lakes, we're good. We're good to go. So anyway, uh, full disclosure, I've had this one before. I've had it numerous times, but I could have sworn that they used to call this one a Vienna lager. Now, um, a Vienna lager is basically a European amber lager, so it, it doesn't really matter, but I could have swore like based on like beer advocate, rate beer, and I thought on the label, they used to call this one a Vienna, a Vienna style lager, which is basically the same as like Samuel Adams Boston lager, but regardless, it doesn't really matter. Now, on the side here it says, admittedly, it's a bit of a paradox to name our amber lager for history's most famous agent of prohibition, but it's a smooth, multi, and dare we say, arresting paradox. So Elliot Ness, he was a prohibition uh, agent back in Chicago in the 20s and 30s. He helped take down... Uh, uh, Al Capone. He also enforced the prohibition uh, laws in Chicago. Uh, he wrote the, uh, the co I think he co-authored the auto autobiography, um, The Untouchables, which turned into the late 80s film with Kevin Costner playing Elliot Ness. Really good film. Uh, Robert De, Niro De Niro's in there. I think uh, Sean Connery. I haven't seen it probably in 20 plus years, but I probably should watch it again. But I remember enjoying that film. But anyway, uh, we have a beer that, like I said, I've had numerous times before. It's always enjoyable and I haven't reviewed it on the channel and I saw a bottle and I'm like, let's do this. So hashtag proper glass, we're pouring into the 25th uh, anniversary Great Lakes glass and here we go. So probably gonna, whoa, a little bit of a splash there from me pouring it like an idiot. But uh, yeah, that's beautiful looking beer, holy shit. That is an absolutely gorgeous looking beer. Amber, yeah, that is a nice deep amber color. Like there's a little bit of like a mahogany tinge in person. That looks beautiful, about a three quarters of a finger of this light tan, approaching khaki color type of head, uh, creamy looking, it looks fantastic. Very, uh, it's not like completely see-through, but yeah, you can. there's a little bit of fine sediment in there, but pretty, pretty clear. Anyway, let's get a nose. <sighs> That's nice. When I go back to review beers and drink beers like this, I always forget like, how inviting the nose is on a beer like this and how much I enjoy it. There's a lot of like bready, caramel, toffee, slight molasses type of malt character. And over top of that, there's, <clears throat> there's a really nice floral, slightly earthy, almost spicy hop character. A touch of like a red apple core. It smells so balanced in the nose. It's just... It's to a T what these Vienna lagers, these amber lagers kind of have going for them. You get that sweet malt character with the caramel, the toffee, the breadiness, and then it's balanced out by that, you know, floral, spicy, slightly earthy type of uh, hop note. And that's what I'm getting the nose. It's not much more than that, but it doesn't need to be. This is very simplistic yet smells delicious. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, to everybody. It's nice. It's a nice beer. It's a nice, well-made, put-together amber lager. Body in this is lower side of medium body. Maybe approaching medium body, 6.1%, really nice. The carbonation on here is delicate. Like, it's there, and you know it's carbonated, but there's a soft smoothness to this beer. Like, it's really smooth on the palate. Makes it infinitely more drinkable. The taste is where this one shines, though. There is, right up front, hit with a ton of malty goodness. First thing hits me is caramel, a slight bit of toffee. There's an omnipresent, bready malt character to this one. A little bit of like a, maybe a little bit of like a toasty kind of like white bread. Like a white bread crust. Middle of the palate, that's where the hops hit. Slightly spicy, slightly floral, touch of earthiness. But they balance this beer out so much because all that sweet, malty goodness gets stopped in its tracks. And it's like, you think it's going to be really sweet, but the second half of the palate has all that hop character. And it's not over the top, like super bittering hop character. It just, there's a, it breaks up the monotony of the sweetness and just like, hey, we're going to balance this one out. And by the time that this, you swallow this 
and you're done with the palette, you're going to be left with this lingering mild to moderate bitterness, semi-dry finish, and you're going to want to go back for more. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Six point one percent. The only reason that this doesn't drink like a lesser ABV beer is because the body's nice and the flavors have a little bit more of like a robustness to it. So if I was doing this blind, I'd probably guess like five and a half, six percent. So there's no alcohol trying to see on the palate, nothing like that. It's a well made, put together beer. Like it's very well balanced, um, perfect for really any occasion. And I like that I'm drinking this one in the middle of fall because I think that's like a perfect, this is a perfect, like a lot of times people drink Oktoberfest when the weather starts cooling down. I like Oktoberfest beers, whether it's a Meritzen or a Fest beer, but I think I like this style a little bit better. Uh, so what, there's not much more to say about it. So I'm not going to give this a crazy high score because again, it's not a style that I gravitate towards. Like I, how many Amber Loggers ever be on the channel? Not a lot, but I would be lying if I said this wasn't a really tasty beer. So I would say stylistically, Elliot Ness from Great Lakes would probably get like a high four or five, like a four or six out of five. I think this pretty much, if you go Amber Lager, Vienna style lager, I think it it's very close to being almost perfect. Uh, but for personal preference, I'm going to give this beer high four out of five. I'm going to go 4.1 out of five. I like it a lot. I just hit me a little bit differently. I think I have given this like a four out of five on a tap numerous times. And back when I was rating beers on Beer Advocate and stuff, it's just, it's a very well-balanced, easy drinking beer. And it has different, like, so if you're looking for a lager that has more flavor, a little bit more intensity, a step up from, you know, just like a regular, like, like a, I like Hellas's and stuff like that. But like, I think I enjoy the slightly darker, more amber-esque lagers a little bit more. So I think if you want to step up your game from just like regular, like a lager, like a Pilsner or something like that, this is the next logical step in my mind. Uh, it's really good. Not too bitter, not too sweet. Good balance. Really nice flavors. And I'm enjoying it. So uh, price point availability. I believe price point on these were like $9.99 six pack. And that's a great fucking value. And uh, availability. Wherever you see Great Lakes, this is like one of their flagship. I don't know if this is the their, their uh, flagship beer. They got their Dortmunder Gold. Um, they got their Edmund Fitzgerald. So, but this is like in the realm of their year round offering. So, uh, if you get Great Lake stuff, you probably should see this one. If you've never had this one and you're a drinker of Samuel Adams Boston Lager, try this one out. I think this is a little better for me than Boston Lager. It's definitely in the same, um, you know, style kind of to maybe to like 90%, but I think I like this one a little bit more than Samuel Adams Boston Lager, maybe a decent amount more. I don't know. Anyway, if you've had this one before, you've had Boston Lager, you've had a shit ton of Amber and Vienna Lagers, what do you think about this one? Because I think this is a really, like I said, well put together, cohesive, tasty, balanced beer, and there's not much more to say about it. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.